Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell Power Edge R240 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on network cards. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell Power Edge R240 server. Do us a favor, find anything that's video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, let's hop in. This video is going to be specifically focused on network cards. So we are going to cover a bunch of the different compatible ones. Uh, we are going to actually install them at the end and show you how you would upgrade it. Um, so let's just hop in. The uh, R240 has a built-in dual port a one gigabit RJ45. So uh, for some people that is enough, but if you want to get uh, higher speeds, uh, more network ports or fiber connectivity, you are going to need to add in a PCIe network card. So unfortunately there are no daughter cards uh, for the R240 uh, for some of the uh, generations and I mean even the 14th gen, some of the other servers, uh, there is a built-in slot where you can install a daughter card and you don't have to waste one of your PCIe slots. Uh, but for the R240 that is not an option so you will have to use your PCIe slot. So what are some of the interfaces? Well you can uh, install an RJ45, you can do an SFP, SFP Plus, SFP28, SF QSFP, QSFP56. There's a bunch of different options uh, as far as the interfaces. Uh, some of the speeds, you can do one gigabit, you can do uh, 8 gigabit, 10 gigabit, uh, 16 gigabit, 25. Uh, 32, uh, 40, 100, there's a, a bunch of different options there as well. And one of the things that we're actually going to do at the very end, uh, we will put up a table of just some of the known uh, models of um, network cards that are compatible with the R240. So hopefully that'll be helpful for you. Uh, we'll put up a minute mark right now actually so that you can see uh, when if you just want to fast forward to that right now. So now the next thing we're going to do is we are actually going to install one of our uh, PCIe network cards and show you the step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that. All right, so now we are going to install our card. So first things first, you're just going to pop the latch and lift the top just like any Dell server you've been in before. So because my card is low profile, we're going to put it on this side over here. Uh, there's technically a low profile and a high profile option. So we're going to lift the blue. We're going to pull our riser straight up. And we are going to install it right here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove the current bracket so that now we can install our new one. So just get everything lined up nice and perfect. Uh, one of the things to also note is, um, get this set up first, on the top right here there is a black part that you have to line up while you're also lining up the, your card down at the bottom and then the leads right there so you got the one uh, up here here and here so there's four points where you kind of need to have it all perfectly lined up okay all right so now we've got our card installed all right our network card is officially in so we're going to go ahead and reinstall our riser so let's get everything lined back up and we're going to push our riser down make it nice and flush everything's perfect and then close it up. So it was just that easy. We have officially installed our network card. So hey, if you made it this far, appreciate you stopping by. Click that like, smash that subscribe. And if you are interested in any custom built servers yourself, we custom build Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco. If you need AMD Ryzen's, AMD Epics, you need Intel Scalable, we'd love the opportunity to earn your data center's business or to earn your home lab's business. Please email us at sales at cloudengine.com. That's sales at cloudengine.com. And we'll go ahead and put that list up of all the different cards right now. Take care, guys. Thank you.